Hey guys, what's up? Authority Zero dropped a new album. Time to celebrate! Hey guys, like I said, so we're doing Authority Zero's new album, Persona Non Grata. I am this punk guy. Thanks for joining me back for another review. If you guys are wondering what I'm drinking, I'm drinking uh, Death by Stereo's new um, IPA by Gunwell. Check it out. It's uh, it's pretty good, actually. Anyway, let's get into the album review. Um, like I said, Authority Zero's uh, Persona Non Grata just dropped a couple weeks ago. It's a pretty uh, simplistic uh, LP cover, but it actually has a lot of meaning. And I'll get into why they just have the typewriter on here. So if you don't know anything about Authority Zero, um, and you should, um, this is their seventh uh, full-length album. Uh, they're from Arizona. So like I said, the LP cover has a very significant meaning, even though it's just a typewriter on there. Um, and the reason why is because this album is uh, really, compared to a lot of other albums, it's very lyrically driven. And you can tell uh, Jason DeVore put his heart and soul into this album. Uh, their last album barely came out a year ago, Broadcast to the Nation, and so I'm kind of surprised to see them drop another album so quickly, but when you listen to it, you understand why and how different it is compared to the other albums. Um, this is the first time they have ever self-released, so it was really interesting to not see them on any other label. I think the last one was Bird Attack Records. So uh, congratulations to them for doing it. I know it's probably a big deal for them, and the album, uh, right off the bat, is really good. So Jason DeVore really uh, just steps up his lyric writing abilities in this song, and you could tell because not all the choruses are the same. What he does is he uses the same melody and puts different words in the choruses, which really uh, forces you to concentrate on what he's saying and really pay attention to what he's saying. It's very much a, uh, a, a songwriter's album, and I think that has to do with Jason DeVore's uh, previous acoustic stuff. Um, those have also been lyrically driven, but he's also picked and choose which ones become Authority Zero songs and which ones don't. And uh, especially in the last one, you could tell more of that style was seeping into Authority Zero. And this one, it feels like the whole album is that way. So this album also has a lot of ska in it too. If not half the album has some type of ska or ska element in it. And I think it has to do with Dan Aid playing guitar in the band now. And you could tell his sound was coming in with the last album and I think this album really personifies their their uh, melding together of the band and making it a full cohesive band. So let's talk about the tracks in this album. Um, there's not a bad one first of all but it, there's too many to this this review would be too long if I just named everyone so I think I'm just gonna go through a couple and tell you what I liked about it and keep it short and simple. So let's talk about my favorite track first of all, is Atomic Bomb. And I really love the ska element of that. It's uh, an aggressive ska. It really pushes the urgency of the song. It really lets you know that he's kind of a, it's like a TikTok moment of the end of the world type of song, saying that, uh, you know, everything that's going on in society. So um, definitely check out that song. It's a great song with great ska in it. Not that happy poppy ska, but really aggressive ska. So let's talk about the title track, Persona Non Grata, and that means pretty much not welcomed. And Jason DeVore's uh, songwriting is really, really noticeable in here. This is one of the songs where he really steps it up and you can tell. Like I said, it's one of those paragraph songs. So it's songwriting at its finest. Um, it's a really good, positive, PMA inspirational song. And I think if everyone heard it, they might take something uh, positive away from it. So let's talk about Shake the Ground. And that is their experimental song. And Authority Zero always puts a weird uh, experimental song, something that they do outside the box uh, on every album. And this is the one. And this one is done in a uh, Spanish like cumbia style, like... Uh, like vibe and I really like it I think if there's one complaint about the song is I wish he would have sung it in Spanish I know he probably can't sing in Spanish but you know he could have learned and I thought it would have been a great song to sing in Spanish but like I said it is heavily heavily lyrically driven it's the longest song on the album it's almost five minutes and um, there's a lot he's saying in the song but it's a really great uh, album that stands out or I'm sorry it's a really great track that stands out and really worth listening to and really shows the diversity of what the band can do so let's talk about Bright Side. Yeah, um, this is probably the most uh, typical Authority Zero song you're going to find. Um, the chorus on here is probably the catchiest on the album. It's the first one that I gravitated to. Um, but at the same time, the lyrics are real deep. So Jason DeVore went through a lot of hardships, and you can probably tell on this album. But at the same time, it's very PMA. It's very, very much saying, you know, like, if i have been through all this, I wouldn't trade for the world. So everyone should live their life to their fullest type of, type of song, you know. So in conclusion... How do you have a band that keeps putting out albums that consistently get better and better? I have no fucking clue. But this band fucking does it, man. 
If you like Authority Zero, you're going to fucking love this album. If you never heard Authority Zero, then you're going to fucking love this album. I can't give you give them enough credit to how great this album is. Um, so this is a serious album, that's for sure, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. You know, it has a song like uh, Shake the Ground, which is a very, very serious song. And then it goes into Mushmouth, which is just like a banger. It just makes you want to get in there and start pitting. Uh, so it knows what it's doing. The flow of the album is really a great flow. Uh, like I said, if, it, if it's going to hit you with the hard song, it's gonna, the next song is going to be a lighter track and vice versa. So I think the cohesiveness of this band is probably at its highest right now. They're probably the best and the tightest the band has ever been. And sonically, like everyone's game has stepped up. Fucking Jason knocks it out of the park. Uh, the band knocks it out of the park. Um, I can't really say anything more positive about this band. Uh, five out of five stars, man. Five out of five stars for sure. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a longtime Authority Zero fan because there's a couple bands that have come out that I've been not too uh, happy with when their new album comes out. But this album, like I said, they every time they drop a new album, it just gets better and better. And this band is on a high. And only a year later after their last album, which I thought was like one of their best albums, like I said, they just keep be getting better and better and better. So thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, this is probably going to close out the year for 2018, uh, this review. Um, what a way to what a way to end it really uh just the, just one of the best albums of the year coming out at the very end of the year so anyway uh let me know what you guys thought of this album i know you guys liked it let me know you guys liked it right in the comments and if you didn't like it i would like to know why you didn't like it what didn't you like about it um let me know too also so uh like add and subscribe to my channel and thank you again have a good new year's and uh don't worry, in 2019, these, these album reviews are going to keep rolling out. So, in 10, I'll see you guys on a show. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching that review. I appreciate it. Man, there are so many good tracks on this album. Uh, Derailed was one of my favorite ones that I didn't get a chance to talk about either. So, check out that track. Until then, I'll see you guys in the New Year's. Have a good one. Don't forget to like, add, and subscribe.